everybody, it's a brand new year. 2019 is in the books, and boy, we're starting out with 2020. I hope 2019 was a great year for you. It was a very good for year for me, especially at the end when I made my trip to England and over to Latvia. And uh, looking forward to go back here in February, back with uh, eight other or nine other YouTube channels. We're talking Nugget Noggin, Plugmaster Ford, Missouri Mike, Relic Rangers, Daddy Digger, uh, we'll be digging Adventures in Dirt, Potter County Diggers, and, and here myself, Preacher Digger, and who else may be going on this, uh, this great trip. But what a trip it's going to be. It's going to be a fun time for sure. And, uh, but it's the first of the year, 2020, and so it's time to do a New Year's giveaway here on the Preacher Digger channel. And uh, I would like for, to give something away. And I'd like to start out by saying if you will just like my channel, subscribe to my channel, and maybe share my channel if you, if you like it, share it with others. But to, to qualify to be in this giveaway, you've got to be a subscriber. So make sure that you like <clears throat> and subscribe, and please share this video. But we're going to have a drawing here. We're going to go for one week. We're going to go from today until next week, next Wednesday, let's call it. And uh, we're going to uh, see how many we can get to come over to the channel and I'm going to give away for first uh, first place we're going to give away this Canadian maple leaf how about that I even throw in a preacher digger sticker with it as well but uh, it's a one ounce silver round Canadian Canadian maple leaf and uh, to make it a little bit more exciting we're going to do a second place as well we'll do a second drawing and I'll give away this uh, three cent nickel have you seen those uh, we have the trimes, you know, the silver trimes, but this is a three cent nickel here. I actually won this at my club. I mean, I actually got it for speaking at a club. And uh, so I want to share it with you. So we'll do a second drawing and we'll throw a preacher digger sticker in there as well. And so it's been a good year for me. Got some great things planned out. Like I said, we're gearing up to go in February, looking to, to recap what I did last November and looking for that elusive gold coin. So uh, we'll make this drawing for one week. We'll go until next Wednesday. And uh, next Wednesday uh, night, uh, we'll go, or next Friday. Let's go next Friday. How about one week from today? Today is Friday. And we'll go for a full week. We'll see who the winner's going to be. We'll make our drawing. I'll make another video announce the winners. But on the meantime, uh, I want to share with you what, I, what uh, I have done and what I have found in 2019. It was a great year. Found some rare stuff. Found some great stuff. It's a lot of great coins and uh, made one historical find that is still in the making right now, still being processed over in the UK, and we don't know the end of it yet. So uh, as I get updated about these coins that I found, I'll update you. So sit back and relax and enjoy the, the top 10 Preacher Digger finds for 2019, and we'll make this drawing uh, next Friday. So God bless. Until we see you again, remember the greatest treasure is not what you can find in the earth, my friends. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep looking up. Keep searching. Until we meet again, God bless. And happy hunting. Well, I did some research. Came out to a new lake that I've never been here before. Uh, dug a few coins already, but here's my first uh, target. It's definitely a 2012 class ring. Uh, ringing up like a 70, so it uh, most likely is going to be gold. Uh, there's some markings in it. Let's see. I can find out what it says. Well, I can't tell what it says. I sure wish I had young guys again. Uh, I can't tell. But anyway, we'll clean it up and see what it is. But that's first good find. Let's keep on going. Maybe this will be a good day. I don't know what I've got here. It's ringing up a solid 19 it's about three inches down it's big and it looks like a coin but I hope it's not one of those USSR coins that's gonna fool me every time but I can't tell let's pull this out oh that's got some green on it this is gonna be something different this is thin too Uh oh this is gonna be a good find this is going to be a, oh yeah, this is going to be an old coin. Yes. Oh, it may be a Latvian, a Republic of Latvia coin. I don't know. Let me, uh, let me clean it up and get a close up with my other camera. Folks, this is a huge, this is about the size of a quarter. This is a silver coin. And it's old. I can't even get it cleaned up enough to get a date on it, but it's got good definition on it. Check that out. Oh, look at that. Look at the back side of it. It's got the shield. 
Check that out. I can't see a date on it yet. Uh, my friend, the, uh, my Latvian friend, he's on his way out here today. And maybe he'll know what it is. But about the size of a quarter. But ring it up as a 19 because it's so thin. Look how thin it is. And look at that. That's going to be most likely 1700s. Oh, look at that. That was awesome. That is so awesome. Oh, and I've, I've just been working this little section right in here where, where the hay bales are this way. Wow, I love the imprint like that too. Check that out. Hopefully my friend can tell me what it is. I'll get home later today and research that. But look at that shield. This is, yeah, this is going to be, I, I would guess, mid-1700s. I got this real scratchy signal right here. I can barely get it on Park 1. Barely, just I'm getting something, but when I go over to Park Two, I'm getting a little bit better signal. It's jumping all around. Now I go to if I go to uh, Field One, right there I'm getting a good tone. Let's go to Field Two. Right there, oh, it's just very jumpy. I don't know. Let's try. Uh, Let's try gold. All right, gold. I'm getting a good, strong signal, six inches deep right there. Let's uh, let's go down here and let's see what we got. Definitely something here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can you see that right? Right there. Get some of that out of your way. Can you see that? Oh, that, that's big. That's a quarter at least. That's got to be silver. What is that? Oh, that that looks awesome. Can you see that? Ooh, I love. This. I'm over here across the fence where these pecan trees are, and uh, how deep is that? That is, that was six, six and a half inches, six and a half inches down. Let's pull it out. Oh, look at there. That's a half dollar, folks. That's a half dollar. Oh, what is it? What's it going to be? That's a walker gonna be a walker uh, 1945 how about that 1945 walking Liberty half dollar I wonder why it was I could barely get it though that was weird on the Equinox on Park one I, I've dug stuff that's 11 inches this is only six inches in that big silver how come I wasn't getting that here comes another coach over here. That was a lawns keeper. He was telling me there was an old building right here. And uh, I'll tell you what, I can't believe that. A walk in liberty. All right, let's check the hole and... Hey, uh, wait a minute. Could this baby have some uh, a brother or a sister in there? Oh, am I picking up my coin again? 
Let me get this coin out of the way. Not gonna believe this, folks. Right there, I just uncovered it. Look at that. Right beside the other one. Is that a quarter? Can you see that? Let's see what we got. Oh no, I got twins here. Twins, another 1940 walking liberty half dollar. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Look at there. A twin set of them. All right. Well, just underneath, we did another scrape here and ringing up like a 28 on the Equinox. And it's uh, going to be a part of a powder flask. It's got some fancy on it. May have an eagle on it. Let me clean it up and get a close up. All right, this powder flask is going to have cross pistols on it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so stars. Another design underneath the stars, you can't really tell. Then two designs right here. Looks like an eagle's wings. Looks like it's going to be an eagle's wings with a cannon on the bottom. And then an anchor. And something else. I'll see if I can't get a non dug example of this and maybe put it right beside it right there. That's a nice little fun. All right, let's keep going. Finally, got out here. I've been wanting a coin. I've just been praying all day for a coin and I finally got one. It's ringing up like a 20 on my Equinox. And it's still in the plug. Check that out. <clears throat> there it is, right there. There it is, half dime. Oh my! Check that out. Beautiful. Oh my gosh! Wow! I don't even want to pluck it out. I just want to leave it where it's at. Okay. Take some pictures of it. No, I'm gonna take it home with me. <laughs> I'm gonna take it home. Check that out. That's all I wanted. I tell you what. Okay, rang up a good solid 20. Let me get my other camera and get a close there up. There it is, folks. Close up, half dime. Let's see, uh, anybody want to take a guess on the year? Let's see what it is. 1840. 1840. I did. I did. 1845. My first one was 18. 1851. Oh, it's an 18, is that 39? Oh, my. Dave, he I'm, got it. If I'm the closest, closest, do I get it? 1839. That's almost a cat bust. A couple more years, that would have been a cat bust. Let me uh, get this some... This calls for holy water. Yeah, let's get a little holy water out. We always got to break out the holy water. Let's see what uh, date we got. That looks like 1839. 1839 seated half dime. I was getting a pretty decent signal here and uh, we're out here at night hunting out in this field and uh, I got this tone and I know you can't see it here. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to show this to you. Um, I, it's a around this is what I what I saw and when I flipped it over is that what I think it is folks it is it is oh my goodness oh my goodness oh I cannot believe this do y'all see that let me put some brighter light on Terry come over here that is a breastplate eagle breastplate folks can you see that 
I don't know if you can see that on the light or not but that's what that is Wow that is unbelievable there oh it's it's all it's the lead part it's all the lead let me see if I can clean it up a little bit better and get on a, another get my other camera y'all see the eagle there now this is just the lead part uh, it doesn't have any brass on it but that is the eagle this is my first target you can tell look we're just out in the pitch black in this field I walked maybe a hundred feet this was my first target Wow that is amazing there that is a fine that's what I came down here for right there oh there may be more out here let's keep going all right I'm excited now here's a little bit better picture of it close up with the light on the angle there you can see that wow this is great this is awesome best find I've ever had out here I was getting a 14 15 on my my Equinox and I've got another great find it's been about five minutes since I found that hill plate check this out guys right here I don't know that's a script something let me clean it up and get a close-up on my other camera what I've got here is a script a button I'm not gonna be able to get a back mark off of it it's pretty corroded I might can get some of that off once I get back to the house but just infield cleaning here all right I've got a clover heel plate and a script a button and I'm not maybe 20 feet apart from one another so far, I've been here 30 minutes, doing well. I don't know what Nugget Noggins got, and got two other guys, Terry and James, is hunting with us, and I don't know if they found anything yet. But wow, I'll take that any day. I don't have a script A, but now I do. Cha-ching! Now this script A, I was talking to Nugget Noggin, he was telling me that this is a rare button, that this is a Confederate States button. Confederate artillery, yeah. Confederate artillery. And uh, I looked up the value of it last night, and what I saw was anywhere from $300 to $350 button. Now, this may be an iron back because it has a lot of the iron on the back. It's not a brass back. But still, the front is in great condition. Look at it. And here it is. I wasn't even expecting this. Can you see that? It's right there. Let me get my other camera, and I'll get a close-up on this. You tell me what that is. Raymond Silva Denarius. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! Say that again, I get you on camera here. That's 2,000 year old Roman Silver Denarius. Roman Silver Denarius. Right there, folks. 2,000 years old Roman. Have you got a bit of water? I do have a little bit of water. Go with Roman. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Complete as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy water. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go too mad at it, but it's good. Man, it rang up real low as well. About 52? No. Oh, so mid tones? Yeah, yeah, like 11. I thought it was going to be, be a piece of junk. And I flipped it over and I saw that head. Got my first signal, and I think I have silver. An old silver in the hole. Check this out. Can you see that? It is. It is old silver. Check that out, guys. Let me get my other camera and get a close-up. What I got, folks, is very old silver. Man, look at that. Look at the detail on it. I don't know how old it is. We're going to put it in the pocket and we're gonna keep on going see if there's any more in this area all right let's keep going y'all ain't gonna believe this here's my hole for the first silver that I just dug that big silver and look just two hand links apart look how small this is this is smaller than a trime look at the imprint right there let me get my camera and show y'all the other one that's the smallest hammer that I've ever had oh man we may be onto something here let me get my other camera and we'll show it to you there it is, folks. Maybe I'll put it on my pants. You might can see it just a little bit better. 
It is a small hammer. Here's my finger. Uh oh. There's my fingernail compared to it. But uh can't get there it is. There's a lot of detail on the back. I guess that's the back. There's the front. That is nice. All right, let's keep going. Maybe some more. Guys, creature digger done did it again. Done found another spill. Found my first coin here. My second coin was right there. And looky here. Another hammered right there. Look at the look at the the coin the the uh, imprint. Wow. Let me get my other camera. I'm gonna show you a close up on these. There it is, folks. There's the second one. I mean, actually, third one. Second one of this size. Let's pop it. There it goes. Same coin. Let me get my water out and we'll spray it down and we'll look at it. Check out that. That is a beauty, isn't it, folks? It's my third hammer. One, two, and three. Two big ones at that. This one's different. Oh, this has got a king's head on it, Pete. It's got some dude's head on it. Check that out. This is different than the other one. Wow. Look at that. Awesome. See his head? Yep. Awesome. I'm curious on what these are. All right, let's keep going. There may be more. I guess you can call me Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> this is my fourth hammered right here in this one. There's one, two, three, four. I'm inviting people to come in, and here's the fourth one right here. It's different than all the rest. Another hammered. Let me get my other camera, and uh, we'll clean it up and show it to you. Guys, yeah, this is my fourth hammered. Let's pluck it out of the coin ball. Tell you what, Pete, will you hold the camera? And uh, hold the camera right there and let me... Hold on, muddy. My hands are muddy. That's all right, go ahead and keep searching. I'll uh, I'll get it. All right. Hang on, folks, let me get all my All right, water. this is bigger than my other one, but smaller than my big ones. They are tarnished, they are dark. All right, let me put it on the coin here and maybe you can see a little bit better on the dirt. Doesn't have a lot of detail on this one. This is just unbelievable. Two days ago I dug three hammered. Yesterday I dug four hammered. Today I've dug four hammered coins. And I don't even know what these are. These are just beautiful. Man, just beautiful. Look at this backside. Look at this queen or whatever, whatever she is. Or he is. These are just beautiful coins. Not too much on those. I don't think anybody's going to hunt with me anymore. I've got uh, 13 hammered on this trip. That's unbelievable. That's just amazing. Look at the detail. I'm, I'm curious how old these are. Probably 1500s, I would think. 1600s. Could be older. I'm going for older, hopefully. I don't know what this is, folks, but it is beautiful. It's in great condition. There's the front side or the back side. I don't know. Here's the other side. Chris is on his way over here. We'll film him and let him tell us what this is going to be. All right, man. I've been out here 30 minutes and nailed this baby. That's awesome. My day's made. Here comes Chris. Let's uh, see what he says. And uh, Chris uh, came back and uh, showed it to him. And uh, this is what he did. And I do have audio on this, so I'll cut over to that, and then we'll cut back to the rest of this. It must be good. Is it Roman? What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Tell me. <laughs> what is it? I need to give you a hug. Give you a hug. <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. 
That must be good. A Saxon coin. A Saxon coin. Let me get in the sunlight here. I'm trembling. Yeah. A Saxon coin. What date range would you say that might be? Canute. That sort of thing. Athel thread canute. I don't know what that means. This is probably the best hammered coin that's ever been found. Hammered silver today, folks. Saxon. Ever. Hammered Saxon coin. Look at the back of it. Look at the, or the front of it. Look at the king. Oh my days. You see how good a shape that is? All right. Preacher Digger done so. struck it again today. You're like Britney Spears. Doing it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awesome, oh man. This is awesome. Oh my, I just can't stop saying oh my days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so as long as you don't say anything worse than that, then we go on the video. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I cannot believe. Do you know what I can't believe? Yeah, I can't just believe. literally, just over there where that little gully is, I had Viking coinage. This is so close to Viking coinage. Wow. It's unbelievable. Viking. Just be very careful rubbing it and everything. I have it. I just sprayed it with water. Yeah, that was it. But, um, Look at this, folks. It's time to get a picture, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's time to get a Look. picture. And you're not going to believe it. Here I am. I'm sitting down. Now I've done dug my first one right there. Now here's my second one, and there it is, right in the plug. And I couldn't believe that uh, I had only found one, but now I have two of them. I've already found. I can't believe that. All right, I'm marking my signals now. That one's marked. It may be a fourth one right there. Unbelievable, guys. This is this is number four. Number four. Check that out. It's in great condition, just like the other ones. This is 1050 to 1053. Saxon coins. This is a definitely going to be a hoard. It's, this is number. Look at there. So let's move on over. I've got uh, two more to look at. So let's go clean them up as well. Here is number five in the coin ball. You can see it right there. Pop this open. Well, I lost it now. Where'd it go? There it is, right there. Oh, this is going to be even more silvery. Check that out. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is unreal. It looks the same, but it's actually different. Dug one right here. Dug one there and one there. Moved down. We dug one there. Dug one here. Now, this is the furthest one away. Come all the way down here and check out. Here's my little buddy again. I already dug him out. All these are in just excellent shape. Let's see if I pop that. I'm not rubbing it, folks. I'm just popping it ever so lightly and scraping that off. There it is. No, you can't see because of the sun. There we go. This is number six. Let's get him over here. Let's get the little man out. Where'd he go? Kind of hard to spray. There he is. Can you see that? I'm running out of running out of water. That's, that's a good thing when you run out of holy water out here digging so many coins. There he is. Wow, I'm gonna take them all out and we'll get a picture of all three of these today, and then I'll get a picture of all six of them together. <laughs> 